All right, so this is a weird one, but if you watch the previous episode, you notice that the episode kind of just ends because as I was loading back in from this battle over here, it crashed. It, it just actually it, it went unresponsive. I couldn't rotate over to the next day. I couldn't change time. The whole kid. Anyways, it's a whole big thing. So I ended up loot the last episode that went up. It didn't actually happen in this campaign because when I reloaded in, it was the start of the battle. And when I refought that battle, it was not like the first time. This time, they all pretty much came in at once. So it was their main force and their reinforcements. And they came in and they pushed from the initial side that there's that cav engagement at the beginning of the previous video. They all came through there and uh, I actually did really well at the beginning. Oh, that reminds me, I was supposed to hop on the other side and give them some troops. Uh, they have recruitment bounties. Let's see if their, their numbers go up in this episode. If not, we're gonna hop on over and then we'll we'll get recruiting. But anyways, so we refought that battle. We're doing really well. And then when their reinforcements actually made it to the fighting, they completely swept me from the field. So uh, we we lost here badly. I think it was a major, a major defeat. So you can probably understand now why the national morale went from 53, 54 down to 52. It was because of that, unfortunately. And I mean, this... Yeah, I mean, I, we, we kind of need everything to be a win, and that was not a win. So we're going to have to fall back and uh, think about how we might do this one a little bit better. But for now, Bragg is pretty much the only thing standing between a bunch of angry Union and the, the capital, which is Little Rock. So stinks to be him. The bigger goal was to get Hill over here because we have bigger fish to fry. Securing Tennessee knocking the Union out of Georgia. All of those seem far more important to the overall uh, war effort and then, then worrying about Western Arkansas. Uh, so I, we'll, we'll pick up wherever the campaign leads us. I think I was thinking of going out here, going for that supply depot if it's still being constructed. But the Union has just scattered all over Georgia. And so they have a bunch of IAPs and towns. And we can see that they're also kind of coming back into tennessee just from other other areas i think i previously beat them but now well now they're here so we're gonna take i think i can do this all via rail and river yeah those are already selected so hopefully that doesn't use too much of ap hills readiness and that we can get him moving somewhat quickly i know that zollicoffer and all right let's just get him on land uh but yeah, the, the forces that are here kind of have to hang out here. Let's see, Sibley. Oh, Sibley did not have. I thought Sibley was ready to move. So it's going to be a bit slow there. Hawes Court. Now, Haw. Yeah, actually, Hawes is doing relatively well. Uh, Maney's almost to the point where he can start going orange. I'm. I'm going to wait until the railroads are clear, and then I'll, I'll try to move Hawes. Of course, there's always the. The, uh, conflict here in Northern Virginia, but yeah, this is what I recall from I think two episodes ago, where we've kind of fought and won, generally, but we've done it at a high price in terms of casualties and in terms of readiness. So that's just not not fun at all. Ugh. And right on cue, so we're gonna take you out of scouting. Okay, and these are just HQs that don't apparently matter too much. So Cooper's Court... Ah, oh, I did not get them out in time, did I? Oh, wait. It's Cooper's Court that was engaged. So that ain't bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this fight. It's going to be 41,000 against 20,000. And then 8... Alright, 9 hours. We get Long Street. So then it becomes not quite even. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's go for it. I, I was observing at the beginning of the last battle that it seems like in all these videos, I make it maybe five, ten minutes into the episode, and then the battle, uh, a new battle is queued up. And, and in campaign, like maybe a couple days have gone by. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're coming hot and heavy here. So this is going to be interesting. We're down in the beginning. I think overall, this is showing... Yeah, yeah we do have a, a, a numerical advantage. It's going to be particularly on the Cav side. 
So we'll see how this develops. But I think if we can get to, if we can avoid an early Krunken, then we might be able to win it on the back end. We'll see what map gets rolled here, and uh, yeah, whether we have to attack or defend, and how many victory points are on the field in a battle like this, where there's a lot of reinforcements and, and pretty significant ones. Uh, even a little bit of victory point can go a long way. Even though it didn't help me in that previous battle, I, I still had 15 victory points, uh, but it wasn't enough to overcome the fact that the the AI... It, they only had 2-to-1 advantage, uh, and, and we did really well. Well, we were doing really well when it was 1v1, but then once the, the second wave hit, they just... They obliterated us. It, I couldn't even get the army out. It had to kind of retreat on its own oh no all right so we did not crash loading and that's good all right it is fredericksburg which has a map i like it it's in the light category not the best but i i like it we're gonna start off close to the victory point all right over here on the orange plank road i i don't love these maps and there's nothing here uh sorry i don't love these victory points because it's it's almost corner camping. I mean, on this map, it, it should be really hard to flank me this way. It's easier to do this way. Uh, obviously, you know, you can't do too much there. And so you almost have to come in head on. Uh, let's see. All right, so we don't have anybody else in. They got blue over here. They got blue up here. I don't see another union entry point. So we're guessing that the push is going to come, right? It's Fredericksburg. It's going to come from somewhere over here. And uh, we just kind of have to defend back. 21 engineering points is a lot. Though when both forces are here, it's not going to be as much as it seems. And um... All right, I'll bring it back when I'm, I'm all set up. And uh, maybe we've made some contact and have some action to show you. All right, so nothing happened on day one. That was one of the nice things about starting at 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. And they had to come all the way over this is the last known whereabouts here. We'll go ahead and hit play. Uh, one more Longstreet's Corps arrived, and so they're now kind of on the right and in reserve. Cheatham's Corps is as you can see it. Or no, it's not. It's just... Yeah, they are as you can see them. The goal here is to obviously bring them over and try to get them to stand off on the left here. I don't know. I mean, if they're here, this is a pretty much impregnable position through Scott's Ford and it holds Banks Ford. It means that, but, but there's little chance of them actually getting hit on the left and I kind of rather unite those forces. So uh, we'll see if we can get all of Gist core maybe over here. I hate having their backs to the Fords in case they just get pressed down. Uh, if we hold this backside, we can still always use Banks Ford to at least cross over. Uh, but anyways, that's that. And then conveniently we got uh, I guess it's Pickett's Corps on the right, and they're also going to try to come over and, and hold this area here. We only ended up with 12 engineering points, uh, but we used them a bunch of level 1 parapets in the opening here, behind the stream here, and then we tried to square off this forest here, and so that if they do come this way, this is the biggest threat to me. Uh, is actually coming through those woods and, and the parapets don't do too much about that they just try to cover the the other open areas uh, but if the union gets together and consolidates and slow pushes through there and then forest hops from there to there uh, at least we have parapets covering it here and we have a force that we can pull back to but uh, this is this is a concern and uh, we may have to move long street a little bit closer but I, i'd prefer not to do too much fighting here because it's going to probably be 50 50 in terms of the casualties uh so anyways, that's that. I think there's going to be, we, we can see some of the Union is starting to kind of find their bearings. Uh, but we're going to move some of the cav. And then after that, we're going to try to get the infantry and artillery closer to one another so that they can support each other if we're attacked. And we do have to be attacked. We were up yesterday. Looks like, hmm. Not, not too much has changed. Uh, no, I don't really want that. Uh, all right, so it's Smith's division. Oh, that's right. His core is not here. That's Evan's core. All right, so then that is okay. 
And then over here, I guess we'll try to get cheat in there. Maxi there. Buckner Senior there. And then Bennings Kev, I don't know, maybe there. But if all this is correct, they're pretty much pushing in the one place I would prefer them not to not to be, so they're not obliging me there. But uh, seeing that we can move Fulkerson at least to get mostly forest cover. But most of those brigades are, are fairly modest because we're short of volunteers. All right, so that's Hooker arriving for them. Uh, okay, I mean, I know that Robertson should not be, should not be in the center. Gotta get that cap to the flank. That's an old mistake we've made too many times. And we yeah, we have a ton of artillery here. Okay. I guess that's coming from all the way back there. That's fine. Robertson, you can still move off. Well, not sure you're actually going to get there fast enough, but maybe we'll just move you back at this point. All right, this looks like it's the skirmishers against Burnside. Uh, okay, we'll put them all there. Burden skirmishes in a forest should should hold for a while and make the enemy use far more ammo than it's worth. But so far, the Union concentrating on a relatively limited front is not bad at all. This might mess with their fatigue and their uh, cohesion, though. Even if it's going to provide better cover, it's it's going to take a while. Okay, we can put the cab in those trenches. They should be fine.
Oh man, allergies are back. You can see, man, those guys have eaten a ton. Unfortunately, we just need him to keep eating up ammo. Let's see how much ammo. Yeah, that's nuts. Birdside spent almost half the ammo on, excuse me again, jeez, with Mississippi rifles trying to clear out those skirmishers. And mostly it's just buying time for my infantry to get it set up. I'll still abide by the rule of you know, one set of skirmishers per brigade per day. Here I think the AI would have probably done better to just throw out their own skirmishers and then And then Rhodes is a good example of what happens when you're, I don't know, not paying attention.
nice having all these guys lay down in case they're blocking line of sight for friendly artillery. They don't seem to have a problem. They don't. They don't. Okay, they might have to move up a little bit. Cables division in reserve over here. Smith's division. Eh, we'll probably move them back here as well. Wow, they finally broke Anderson. I think when he was out of ammo, too. Yeah. looks isolated. Um, let's get them set to medium range. Let's make sure the division commanders, the infantry, well, those are the ones I can. The infantry division commanders do the same. But I'd like to throw this entire core at that division and try to knock them off. Now, it gives me one less thing I need to worry about later on. I think we're to send Benning to capture the road and then maybe move up from the back. First, then Maxi. Oh, that's confusing. There are two Anderson Cav Commanders. Samuel, I guess, has the bigger one. That's what we'll have to remember. Alright, and they found something to shoot at as well, so as long as the artillery is firing, I'm okay. Oh, these guys, they're not laying down. In fact, none of these guys are. Alright, 
so Stuart, well, Stuart's kind of in the right place, I guess. We move him a little bit closer. Let's certainly move just closer to Stuart. That puts him a little bit further away from some of his division commanders. But they pretty much only have to sit on that road. Yeah, this division can still pull out this way, but uh, that's... Oh, look at this. The Trixie Hobbits. Send them up there. Uh, how are these guys doing? They're generally doing well. So we can send them at the double. My goodness, these allergies are kicking my butt all of a sudden. It's got a fat division here. You know, I wonder if we get Smith's division and those three cav brigades and push that division over there. I kind of like that idea. I mean, I'm actually okay with that. If they just hold whatever this is up for a while, that would be good enough for me. I see this, and there's some things we can't really finish, but actually Daniel could move there. So we see these geniuses coming up. Okay, let's put the infantry there. Let's move the cab up. Alright, they're trying to surround me with my skirmishers here, so... America will fight back, or in this case, you know, the Confederate States of America will fight back. It's uh oh Howard, so you know, you, you knew he, he was gonna be in the wrong place. There's nothing you could do about it. It was his destiny. All right, anybody here in any sort of cover? Oh, they briefly touched the fence, so that's nice. Oh, and I guess we still have the fence. All right, that's cool. I think for these guys, we're just going to put them prone. I think the same is true for them. As long as we can still shoot, I'm kind of okay with that. You can see they are... You can see what they're doing and why. It all makes sense. Okay. Put a battery over there. Bagby. Old Bagby. You really ain't got that much to shoot at. Here, we'll move you up here.
Well, you know what? If they want... Oh, that's artillery there, is it? I hate artillery. Yeah, let's see what we can do there. Are we close enough there to engage them? Let's try to make sure we get at least some guys shooting at that art. So, oh, there is quite a bit more. guys do not want to shoot that artillery. You got to. Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, there he is. Alright. Buckner Senior, why don't you see what you can do over here?
those skirmishers because they don't look like they're going to be useful over here. swing like this. And Van Dorn's division can just line up to plug gaps over there. Oh dear, we're out of ammo. Man, that went fast. Okay, well, this is an easy one. Ace of spades, for sure. These guys can just get a... F well, yeah, a little bit more. ones there look okay. I wonder about Cheatham. Yeah, they seem tired. Hard to say. Oh, okay, he does. I was gonna say. I feel like he should.
Yeah, absolutely punch through those two brigades. How are these guys doing? Alright, so if they're low on ammo, we should do the same thing. We should withdraw them. Otherwise, it's like using infinite ammo, right? It just feels wrong. So we'll pull them back. I don't know. Griffith will send you up. Hopefully rallies. You guys, I just take it, are not going to fall back. Yeah, you got to. Them's the rules, man. Well, that I made up. What's going on over here? Garnett is stable, yikes. Alright, we'll sandwich Wilcox here, who's already taken a lot of quite the beating. We can move Eccles up and maybe just not move Garnett after that. We can move, remember, we can move Cav to uh, give morale support to friendlies. We will do that. And then I'm thinking about maybe taking Cheatham and just marching Cheatham's division over here, leaving Buckner Sr. over here to kind of deal with whatever's over here. Johnson, you're going to deal with Howard. Stevenson will move up. Much goodness going on. I can't even can't catch it all here. too sure what that was. Alright, cheat him. Get your division pointed that way. Maxi, you do the same. Robertson's cab. Come on over here. I do not like how stubborn these guys are. Again, you can tell it's the AI because people in their right mind don't usually take that hurt. Division's going to push on through there. Fulkerson's is going to push on through there. I 
wonder. All right, we're closer than I thought. I wonder if they have ordered ordered their men to retreat or start falling back. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Well, I'm sorry we didn't get to watch too much of it at this angle. This is, or this level. This is usually where it's the nicest. And sometimes zoomed in considerable ways. But there's a lot to manage. There's not quite 200,000 men or sprite battles. It. All right, do that. Oh. We'll see if this is enough to make up for the uh, loss in the previous battle that kind of felt like it shouldn't have been a loss. Well, actually, no, it should have. It just we won the first time, and the AI didn't like that result, so we had to fight it again. to be a wrap and a route.
It did not feel like seven to one. All right, two thousand killed, almost eight thousand captured. That's ten thousand off the board for them, and for us, it's four hundred sixty-five for sure, and then some percentage of the missing and wounded. So, holy moly! Yeah, I would say that that makes up for Arkansas a bit, and then some. You can see our, our, our national morale still went down. And this is the thing about the AI. Like, it'll just keep coming, and even if you win battles, you lose readiness. It's something I haven't spent too much... I, I have... Well, I botted some things around defeats and, and supply loss and national morale gain loss, but yeah, not, not that. And I don't even know if you can mod it. Um, I think, yeah, I, I, I think maybe you can. But anyways... So our offensive is going to stall after this because, uh, yeah, we got to we gotta get our readiness back. But, it, yeah, I mean, take a, take a win is a win. Uh, I know I've completely neglected the naval aspect of it. I think when I looked at these guys a couple episodes ago, yeah, not much has changed, honestly, because I don't even think a month has gone by in maybe the last four episodes so uh and that's that's okay yeah these guys look ready to rock so they're capping augusta can we move hawes here no we're not going to we're, we're still using the railroad so let that happen i think both of those Core. Sibley and Hill are now over here. So yeah, we can move them. That's fine. Sibley can go into scouting. Zolikoffer. Yeah, he's usually pretty good with his readiness. And it looks like uh, he'll be back shortly. Army of Florida says it's ready to rock. Man, my national morale still tanked. Maybe that's still from the previous battle, but I would think that we'd get a little something something. But yeah, I think we owe a recruiting trip to the Union. Who did we have in charge? Dabney Mori. Yeah, of course. Of course we do. Alright, Price is getting his stuff back. How long is it going to take this guy to be effective? A long time. Fighting spirit on enemy terrain? Brigadier General Reigns, who's been defamed. That's rough. Alright, but they're going to get some morale back. Hopefully we can avoid too much heavy fighting. I don't know if that's yeah, I don't know if that's actually anything that we need to care about. Alright, so they're there. Salt coffers here. Sibley scouting. Good, good. Hill is scouting. That's good. That also should mean that the railroads are free. And that means we can move Hawes down here to at least put an eye on whatever the heck is going on. See what kind of force we have in Augusta. Maybe we can retake it. Uh and get the Union out of here so that we stop losing support in Georgia. And Jeez, it feels like everywhere else in Virginia, it's still only 25%. And I, I'm not sure if we've accumulated enough subsidies to do much. We were looking at civil order before, but that really wasn't the problem area. The problem area is was uh, recruitment offices. And so that one's almost done, but it's almost been done for a while. The proof credit rating actually isn't that close, I think. Yeah, so we still got another 7 million, and after that, I think the plan is to just stop using those subsidies altogether. Uh, because it's... I don't know the war is going to go on long enough for it to matter for the credit rating. Interest rate is nice. Well, it's nicer. Although, the union actually is paying less. Go figure. So, I'm going to wrap this episode here. There's a lot more to do i think as long as we have about 10 more points of national morale to play with the union has about 30 
And so we'll uh, we'll see if we're able to hang on. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I think there are quite a few more episodes left in this campaign. So I hope to have you back for those.